everyone so welcome to my declutter series in this video I'm going to start getting rid of actual makeup products now these products are not going to be thrown into the garbage or something I'm going to try to pass on as many as I can to people I know friends family neighbors relatives whatever now this drawer is all like single eyeshadows from various brands so I really feel like overwhelmed when I look at this and I don't even know where to start so let's go through these Catrice ones and honestly I like never use these eyeshadows anymore anymore found better quality eyeshadows to work with so like this olive one I definitely won't use because I don't like olive colored eyeshadow so that's gonna go so hard I actually really like this color because it's like a cool tone brown I'm gonna put this aside as a maybe these two purples I think this is gonna go the swimming with dolphins it's a cool tone gray but I remember that this is not very pigmented I just don't use this this blue one, I remember being actually quite pigmented, so I'll put this one aside. This is gonna go out. This is not very pigmented. This is gonna go out. And then this green shade, it's just the pigmentation is not there. So I'm gonna get rid of those. Um, let's see, this one, I think the pigmentation is not bad. This one is pretty good. That one's actually nice. Forgot about this eyeshadow. Okay, I'm gonna keep those. So the liquid metals, the from Catrice, I really, really like these. So these ones I'm definitely keeping and I do use those once in a while. These eyeshadows here, which I think these were called Face Front Cosmetics and I don't think I've ever used them. So that's saying something. I think I used this one once, but I just remember the pigmentation not being really that great. Like it's really patchy, so. This is gonna go, see this is just a weird color. Ew, it's so chalky. Okay, that's going out. This is also another one, yuck, no. I think this pink was actually quite nice, so I'm gonna keep this. And this is a really nice, I should use this again, this is so pretty, Death by Rubies. It's a really nice sort of ruby red pigment. There's another one of these eyeshadows, like it's really, sparkly red. It's a really bright red. I think I might hold on to that for now. I just feel like, I don't know if you can see, but there's just like bright glitter in them. Berry M Dazzle Dusts. Like it's, they look so pretty in the pot, but they're, they just don't adhere very well. I just remember this applying almost black and it's just like messy. I'm gonna get rid of this, I think. And the blue one, I think also, because I just, this looks so pretty, but... They just don't stick well to the eyes, but I think this was actually my favorite color, so I might hold on to that one for now. So here I've got the L'Oreal Chameleon eyeshadows. I think I'm definitely gonna keep these because they are duochromes, and I don't really have a lot of duochrome eyeshadows like that. So you've got a L'Oreal Quad, which I never use, and this is broken as well. Actually, I think I'm just gonna throw this into the actual trash because it's broken. Some Kiko eyeshadows here. These ones I'm definitely keeping. Um, they're the water eyeshadows and I love those and I have used this one's a little bit damaged But I have used those this Kiko eyeshadow However, I think this one I'm keeping because I use this as a highlighter So I might actually stick that with a highlighter this one on the other hand I'm gonna get rid of because I don't find it very pigmented. It's like a pink and a purple I think the same goes for this looks really pretty, but it wasn't very pigmented like it was just really chunky, although maybe, I don't know, I just remember this like falling off, like it didn't stay. Not sure on that one yet. The other one for sure I can get rid of, but that one I quite liked. This one was the same, it just didn't stick and it was like really poor pigmentation. This was like a really nice aqua, but it's just the pigmentation not there. This is by Aster. I remember buying this because I thought the pigmentation was actually really good. I don't know, like I have so many brown eyeshadows. Uh, this is a maybe. Let me just put this on the maybe pile over here. Magic Up, I think these were cream eyeshadows by Manhattan. This pink one, I'm definitely getting rid of. I, like, I don't think I've used that at all. Um, this one, let's see. I think I kept this because, ooh, it's, okay, it's really dried out. I think it's time to toss this. This is actually easier than I thought it would be. So then I have the um, Manhattan Eye Amazing Eyeshadow Cream. That's actually really pretty. I don't think I've ever used it though, but <laughs> it is pretty and that would, maybe I'll do like a look with it, like a mint color look, maybe for spring. I have a sugar pill eyeshadow, it's a black. I don't wanna get rid of just a black eyeshadow. So I'm gonna keep this. I think the Laura Geller, I'm gonna get rid of this. 
I've only used this a few times, but I'm gonna get rid of that. I have the Glamour Sparks here by Creole, and I actually used this recently. This is more of a pigment. It's like a dual chrome pigment. It looks white, but then it reflects pink, so I'm definitely gonna keep this because it's really pretty. Leek Makeup 2012 Collection Honor. This is a blush, but I think I kept it here in the eyeshadow stuff because it's like pigmented like an eyeshadow. It's like this really pretty bronzy color. That's actually really nice. Like, that is a really pretty... Like that on me looks like a really good eyeshadow. So I think I'm gonna, or maybe I'll put this in the maybe pile. Then I've got some of these BE or B Creative makeup and uh, I feel like the pigmentation in these is just not there. I think I'm gonna part ways with this. The MU eyeshadow, oh this is great. I'm definitely not getting this. This is such a cheap eyeshadow. Cost one pound. Um, UK pound, but it's like, so pigmented. I have some more higher end. I have a, a Clarins eyeshadow in Aubergine. I think with this one also the pigmentation. I love Clarins foundations. The foundations are great, but I feel like the eyeshadows are not very pigmented. You know, I think, like, look at that. I'm gonna let go of this, even though it's a high end product. I don't care. I think the same goes with this one. Really pretty, but... It's like a really soft pigmentation. This is great for people who are kind of like afraid of eyeshadow and want just that, like a light wash. But for me, um, I like it more pigmented. So I think I'm gonna get rid of those. Here are more Clarins. Um, I think this one, I did use this, but um, I don't like here that there's like a cream product in here in blue and um, the eyeshadow like transferred into the cream product. So I'm going to pass that along also to somebody who really likes Clarins. Got another MUA product here. It's an eyeshadow. I think I didn't like this cause it's really, yeah. I'm gonna pass this on. It's a really, really yellow toned gold and I find like that those colors just don't flatter me. Quad here by Burberry and this I'm definitely not getting rid of. Um, it's a beautiful eyeshadow quad and the quality of these eyeshadows is just incredible. See, so yeah, I have some NYX stuff. The trios, I don't even know if these are like available anymore from NYX, like this exact color combination. So I think this is gonna go out. And this one I actually really used to use this a ton. I remember when I didn't have a lot of makeup to begin with, this was like my go-to trio by NYX. It's the Aloha Mink Brown and Deep Bronze. And I wore this a lot. I don't wear it as much anymore. So this is gonna go out as well. So on the corner here, these are the L'Oreal Infallible Shadows and I actually really like the texture of these. Like I just don't use this baby blue color. I don't know, I don't really think blue, like baby blue really suits me. So I'm getting rid of this. I think this pink is actually quite nice. It's called Strawberry Blonde. It's actually, that's kind of nice. I think I will keep this one. Flashback Silver, I've used that in a few tutorials. It's like a duochrome silver. This purple one, I think I'm gonna keep it also. Purple Obsession, I think that one's quite nice. Um, this one I'm also gonna keep. It's Amber Rush. Um, it's like a bronzy. This blue is just not flattering on me. I'm gonna get rid of this. It's an iridescent finish. It's like a black, but it has glitter in it. But I remember the glitter, like, I don't know, it's really pretty, but the glitter kind of fell off. But I think it is a quite unique color. Like, it's just black, but with lots of glitter. And I don't think I have another glittery black, so I'm gonna keep this for now. This one I think I'm also keeping, the Sahara Treasure. This I'm also keeping, the um, Glistening Garnet. I think it's a really nice sort of reddish color. Like Bottomless Java. I think this is a nice color too. It's really dark though. Not sure, this is a maybe. This bluish one. I feel like I'm not a big fan of like light blue eyeshadows like this and I have a lot of similar eyeshadows similar to that. This one is like a, a, a neutral one, Infinity Pearl, but I remember this was like really chalky so I'm gonna get rid of that. This one's called With a Twist. It's a lighter purple. But it's really actually similar to this one so I think I'll pass this one along. This is a dark purple called Smoldering Plum. I think this one's quite nice. I will keep this. That is just a weird color to work with. I don't think that'll suit me, so I think I will get rid of this. This green one, I love the color. It's um, Golden Emerald, I'm gonna keep this. Um, this, I think I'm also keeping Hourglass Beige. That one's quite nice. Um, this one, Gold Imperial. This one's actually really nice for Christmassy looks. Maybe I will keep that one for now. There's another blue in here. They might be called something different in the United States. I know that often the names are different. That's actually really nice. So I think I'm gonna keep that. This last one I'm keeping too. This one is Cosmic Black. I love it. It's like an olive green with flashes of gold. So I'm gonna keep this. Now these two maybes, 
This would be nice as like a mermaidy look. I think I'll keep this one. I think I'm gonna get rid of this because it is really, really dark and I don't think I will use that for blending. Oh, here's another BE product. I think I just don't like the quality of these. I think I'll just get rid of this. No, oh, there's a Kiko eyeshadow. Oh, this was really poor quality. I'm gonna get rid of this. MAC stuff. I know these two I'm getting rid of. These were the, um, what are these called? Electric illumination eyeshadows. They have a really weird spongy kind of texture. Like, I just don't know really how to use them. And the pigmentation on these was not great, so I just didn't find these very practical. This I'm also going to get rid of. It's the Natural Vigor Mineralized Eyeshadow. I feel like it's just really chunky glitter. I think I'm just gonna get rid of this because I don't wanna hold on to like a whole compact if I'm just gonna be using one shade because I have so many other things to use. Then I have a lot of singles here. I think this mint one I'll keep because I want to actually depot these. I think all these singles I'm going to keep by MAC. Um, I want to depot them, so that's like going to be my next project because these are actually all really pretty and I could definitely use those in videos, but I just haven't because they've been in here and like not in palettes. The loose pigments here, two glitters that look identical. Are they identical? This one is called gold and this one's called gold. So I don't need two gold glitters, so I'm going to get rid of one of them. These ones also look very similar, but they're not. This is Naked, which I think is actually a really nice one, and Lies. This looks really yellow toned. Some Christmas thing. I think I'm going to get rid of this, the Lies, and what is this? Deep brown. Ugh, I just don't use these pigments because I just don't like the packaging of them and just find it hard to get the product out and it's like, ugh, no, I will just, I know I just never will use these. So I'm gonna get rid of those, but I think I'll keep these ones. So I'll keep these rest of those pigments. And then I have a purple glitter, which is, I don't think I have another purple glitter, so I'll keep that. And then this is um, grape pigment. I think I have used this, so I will keep this. Then these are full size pigments, and I think I'm gonna keep those all. I, I don't know, I'm finding it hard to get rid of full size pigments, so I think I'm gonna keep those. This quad is a mineralized baked shadow. I'll, I think all I've done here is swatch them because the colors like don't really suit me and they just don't appeal to me. Beautiful thing, but I'm going to get rid of it. This I'm gonna keep. It's a really good base for dark things. It's bat black um, cream color base, I'm keeping that. This I think I definitely wanna keep because I just got it recently. I just haven't had a chance to use it. It's really pretty. It's the Magic In Your Eyes Foiled Shadow. Definitely keeping this. I have used this in several videos. It's the mineral, this is actually a mineralized eyeshadow that I like. It's um, Young Punk. Love this. And then these like weird eye glosses, like I've never used them for a video, but they could be really fun. Yeah, I think I'll keep them. There's another one here, it's like this greenish gold. I think I will keep those, because I don't really have anything else like that. The Toledo, see these are, I have a lot of purple palettes now. Like, these are all purple. I don't need them all. Um, oh, here's another Bobbi Brown eyeshadow. This I'm keeping, I bought this. It's like a golden sparkly eyeshadow. It's, uh, what's it called, Sunlight. I think I'm gonna get rid of this, because the only color that I really liked in here was this sparkly uh, white, and it's so hard to get it out with the brush, because it's so thin, like I can't even get my brush in there. So I'm going to pass this on. I think all I did was swatch. I mean, Simpsons, I mean, this stuff is like collector value, but. Okay, these three I'm finding it like hard to get rid of any of them, but let's just be honest, like I'm not going to use them all and like I haven't even used this. It's such cute packaging. I'm not even a big Simpsons fan, but I just think it's so cute, the eyes. I think I might keep the Simpsons one and this one I have done a video with it. And so I think I'll keep this one. This one I think I'll get rid of because the colors are in here are like really warm purples and I felt like they made my eyes look broody, bruisey and I think I will pass that on. So as I was putting things back, I actually ended up getting rid of another like three or four products. Um, so this is what that drawer looks like. It's a lot more better overview. So let's move on to the next one. So this drawer is another sort of eyeshadow drawer. Oh, this again, I don't know where to start. Okay, let's start here with the palettes. So this is the Guo Pei palette, which I like the packaging. I've never used it, like ever. I think I swatched it. I don't, I don't even know if I did swatch it. I don't know, blue eyeshadow is just hard to wear. Packaging is really nice. This is a maybe. The Kelly Quad, I have used this in a video. I wasn't crazy about it. I like the lipstick from this collection. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Gosh, Creolon, a single. I think this one was at Christmas and 
Actually, I haven't used it, but it's really pretty. I'm gonna keep this. The Creolon palettes. Now the quality of these Creolon palettes are really good, so. I have used this. I've used both of these. I haven't really used this much, but I have used both of those colors, so I think I'm gonna keep that. I think I've never used that. And you can see here, like the colors are still perfect. Ah, blue is just tricky, tricky, tricky. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. This is hard, but let's just be brutal here. From Creolon, I find these are just tricky to open. I think this pink, I've used it. It's really pretty. Let me just keep this for now. This is a really nice sky blue, like a cloud blue, even though clouds are white, but you guys know what I mean. I think I'm gonna keep that, it's pretty original. This is a nice sort of mid-tone matte blue. I think I'm gonna keep that as well. Cream ones, which I'm just not a big fan of cream eyeshadows, but this is actually great as a base if I ever do blue shadow look, so. I think I might keep that as well. White, shimmery white, ooh. That could be a good highlighter for somebody. For me, it's a little bit too yellow toned. I think I'm gonna pass this on. All right, then over here, these are Lancome palettes. Oh, I just don't use these because I don't know why. I think I might keep this quad. Uh, this is maybe. I have used this palette quite a few times. Like, I don't know if you can see, there's like wear and tear on it, but this is another thing I just don't use anymore. I think I'm gonna pass that on. Even though it's so pretty, there's like padding on it. It's a really nice palette. No, I think I'm gonna pass that on. Eyeshadow Singles by Lancome. I should just take these out because this is like a lot of packaging for like a single shadow. It's a really pretty dark purple. I think I'm gonna keep that. Dark blue, keep that. Uh, dark green, oh, that's really pretty. Keeping that for sure. And this is a, oh, that's another sparkly black. I don't really need two sparkly blacks. Let me put this in the maybe pile. And then I have this silver cream shadow. I did use this. It's really hard. I think I'm gonna get rid of this because I think it's just a little bit dry by this point. These are by Ella Masca. This is just such a strange color combination. There's two cream products in here. I hate when creams are mixed with powders. I'm just gonna pass that on. It's a fundamental palette. Liquid Metal Palette by Ella Masca. These things look so cool, but they just completely smear. Um, they make major creases on your eyes and like any eyeshadow that you put on top like ends up creasing. I'm gonna pass that on. Just don't use it enough. And then this weird palette is like this weird kind of spongy texture similar to those MAC ones that I got rid of. I don't like the texture and they're not very pigmented, so that is going out. So another one of these like turquoise colors. I think I've like just got too much turquoise. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. And this is like a weird lilac color that is really poorly pigmented or like there's like a film on top so I'm gonna get rid of that. A NYX eyeshadow. Uh, this is like in a peachy shade. I think I'm gonna pass that on. I just don't use it enough. Oh, I was looking for this a few days ago. You see, I was looking for exactly this product like when I was filming my Rihanna one. I wanted to use this on top of the lips and I couldn't find it because there's just so much stuff in here. So I'm gonna keep that. It's like an emerald. This is a really pretty Blurple by NYX. It's so pretty actually. Morocco. I think I'm gonna keep that. It's really nice. And then these eyeshadows by um, MUA, which I've never even used. Oh, these terrible glitters. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm just gonna throw that in the garbage because their packaging is just the worst packaging ever. I think this is a really nice hot pink. Am I really gonna use that? Probably not. I think I'm gonna pass that along too. The Chubby Sticks here by Clinique, which I haven't used really, but um, should really give these another go because they actually do look quite nice. Well, the green one, I don't think I'll probably use, I probably won't use the green one to be honest. So I'm gonna get rid of the green one. I'm gonna keep these ones for now. Then I got the Hot Nudes palette by Bobbi Brown and I've used this like twice or something. I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of glittery eyeshadows in here, like gl really bright glitter. I think this one is kind of nice, but like this is just really glittery. I think I'm gonna pass that on because I'm just not into glittery eyeshadows. I am just being ruthless here. I mean, these are really expensive products, some of them, but. So the NYX um, Love in Florence. 
think I might actually have that duplicate. This is one by Bobbi Brown. It's like a pink eyeshadow. I feel like pink shadows just make me look so bruised on my eye. I just, I'm gonna get rid of that as well. The Nudes palette here by Maybelline. I got this because I wanted like a, a nude, sh like a nude palette from the drugstore, but the quality of these is like so, I don't know, spotty. Like some of them are just so chalky. Uh, maybe it's good to keep anyway as like a drugstore. I don't know if I do like a drugstore look. Okay, a palette here by Clarence. This actually is a nice like palette for dark looks. I think I'll keep this. These BU shadows, I'm just not like over the moon for them. Like this one is just weird. I don't know. I think I'm gonna get rid of I think maybe I'll keep this one. But I can already tell like it's starting to develop this weird like film on the top. Um, more BU stuff. I think I've never used these. I think they're quite chalky. This one's really chalky. And another shadow here. This one's nice. This one's really nice. I'm gonna keep that. The other one looks quite chalky. This Makeup Factory is really super pigmented and it's like a black brown. This is really nice, keeping this. All right, so I've got more Creolon stuff. Um, pigments, these pigments, purple pigments. I think this blue one, you guys have seen, I'm just like, I've got so many of these like aqua colors and I just don't use that. I think I will keep this. I think I have used this. Gosh, I feel like I just have so many purple things. I think I'll just get rid of this one, this matte one. I remember that being kind of chalky. And this one, I think I'm gonna keep that one, this sort of more uh, shimmery purple. I think I'll keep that. The Illusions, which are like cream things. Okay, I got a little bit confused because I thought these were all the same, but I've decided to get rid of all of these because I just don't like cream products. These were sent to me and I just don't use them. I just don't like mixing creams with powders and then like I find that the creams are always quite heavy and so I'm gonna get rid of all of those. I'm gonna keep these, um, the three lighter ones, just as like sometimes I've used those for like ghostly looks for Halloween um, on my skin. So I think I'm gonna keep those for now. And then I've got here, these are pigments by Ella Masca. The pure pigments, um, they're just so gorgeous. Although I have another one here that's like black. Ah, uh, this one's just like straight up black. Oh, it's a, you see, I just hate how freaking messy these are. Black pigment is just, no, that is just not worth my time. Ah, this is why black pigments are just, should be banned. Here I have like a, a mint green by the makeup store, which looks really nice. This looks really pigmented and that's like a really nice mint. So I'll keep that and then I have another thing by the makeup store. Oh God, these are, it's that highlighter cream so dried out. I'm gonna get it, I'm just gonna toss that in the garbage. Okay, I've actually decided I'm gonna get rid of these two cream pigments by Ella Masca because the only lace that you could probably use these is as blush and they're just too thick and like too pigmented to use as cream blushes. So I'm gonna get rid of those. The hollow one you can actually use as a contour, although I don't know if it's like starting to dry out and don't like cream products. Like I just find they just dry out and they just don't look as nice and uh, you know what? Fuck, I'm just gonna get rid of them. When that is just gonna look like a bruise on my eye. You know what? Fuck it, get rid of them. Um, mold is a really dark purple, which you could, I guess, use as an eyeshadow base. So I'll keep that. And the light purple is nice too. So I think I will just keep those for the creams. And then the, the powder ones, I think I'm keeping them all. Although this one is like really a bright, like yellow gold. And I really don't like yellow gold. This is a maybe. I don't know about that one. Okay, so I have a pile of the maybes up here. So I've decided to keep the Guo Pei by MAC because this color is really pretty and I like this one as well. And I don't think I have any blue like that. And I've actually decided to get rid of this instead as a highlighter because I feel like the quality of this is not so good. So I'm going to get rid of that instead. And then the marble pigment, I've decided to pass that on to someone else because I don't like the shade of gold that this is. I feel like it's just really sort of a weird shade. I think I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't think it's quite as sparkly. So I'm gonna pass that black sparkly shadow on from Lancome. This is actually a blush, but I think I will keep this because the pigmentation is just incredible and it's a really nice warm toned um, brown as well as this one because this is actually a really good eyeshadow by Astor. It's like really pigmented. So in total, I am getting rid of 78 eyeshadow products, including palettes, cream eyeshadows, 
and singles and all that stuff just from those two drawers. I think that's a pretty good result. As I was watching back the video, there was a couple things that I realized I didn't actually need. Um, so editing the video made me want to get rid of a few more things. So 78 things in total, I think that is pretty good. Okay, so I've got both of those drawers now cleaned out and I feel like I've just got such a better oversight. I feel like it's not as jam packed. And next time I'm gonna be doing blushes cause that is going to be the next couple drawers are blushes and stuff like that. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can check back on my playlist for my declutter series. I will see you guys for the next one. Bye everyone.